Hey everybody, it's CompHelp. Thank you for watching this video in which I'm going to go over some Google Chrome tips and tricks to hopefully enhance your user experience and hopefully make you more productive. Now you probably already know these and if you do, please comment below on what your favorite tip is, whether it's in this video or not, because I'm always interested in hearing about these. I can't obviously go over all of them. Uh, I'm just going to go over the ones that I think will really help new users. So let's go and get started here. Okay, so I'm going to open up Google Chrome here, and right there you see that it, it's pretty simple, there's nothing really there. Me personally, what I like to do, and it keeps me uh, working a lot faster, is have my bookmarks up right away. I like to see my bookmarks. So once you set this, you don't have to do it again. Um, it's Control shift b just like that, and it brings my bookmark bar right here. It just pops up, and now, let's say I close Chrome and open it back up. There it is, there's my, uh, there's my bookmark bar, and it's really really awesome so now if I want to visit YouTube just go straight to YouTube and blah blah you know it's nothing really special there another thing I like for whatever reason is the home button and to do this what we're gonna do is go over to the tool icon here we're gonna go to options and simply show home button and you can also disable the bookmarks bar here as well uh, so there you go for that all right, the next thing I want to show you is pinned tabs. Me personally, I don't use these, but I can totally see people using them. Let's say I have YouTube open, I have uh, Facebook and Twitter open, okay? Now, I always visit YouTube every time. Well, actually, I visit all these sites as soon as I open up the browser, but let's say I always visit YouTube. I'm going to right-click that tab and pin it. Boom, it turns into this little thing. I don't have an X mark, so I can't just, you know, exit out of it anymore. And what this does is, let's say I close Chrome, and I open it back up, that YouTube tab is going to load up alongside of my home screens or whatever, okay? So it's actually a pretty simple way, instead of going to the toolbar uh, options, and instead of opening up the following pages, all you have to do is right click and pin the tab, and it's actually very, very simple. So just as an example here, let's open up Chrome, and right there I'll have five different websites open up right there nice and easy in those tabs and I can always rearrange these tabs if I feel like it and it's actually pretty cool so I just go click them and and you know view them it's it's really it's really convenient okay so here's my next tip you can actually rip tabs off of your current window and it's actually really useful I use this I use this countless times a day. Uh, let's say I want to keep my windows more organized or for example I'm uploading a YouTube video. Me personally I have a bad habit of clicking X on the window and there you go my upload is now cancelled and I have to go back and re-upload the video and stuff. So what I do is let's say oh man you know what I actually want to keep this window separate I want to keep this tab separate from all the other ones. Um, I, I just as a precautionary thing I, I don't want to exit out of the window. So what I'll do is I'll just click drag off and let go and there we go it has its own window now and what I'll normally do is you know minimize this really small or something just so I can check out the upload and I'll put it to the side and then I'll continue my browsing uh, on this window over here or something you know that's usually that's usually how I work um, so it's, it's actually really cool so I can actually you know go and, and just you know take them all apart now let's say uh, this is just a huge mess and I actually want to combine these tabs into one window. Well, just grab that tab and you can actually drag it back into these windows. It's very, very simple and I really like the fact that you can do this. So there you go, there's a cool quick tip that you can do uh, in your web browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out another tip. Let me open up Chrome once again and you can see here I have YouTube, Ping, Facebook, and Twitter. Well, what if I don't really need those letters there and I have a ton of bookmarks? Well, all I want are those icons, okay? So this way it's really simple. I mean, I know that this represents YouTube. That's Ping, Facebook, and Twitter. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right-click on my bookmark and go to Edit. I'm simply going to delete the name and hit OK. So now look at that. It just turns into the favicon icon. So I'm going to go and do this to all of them. And there you go, now I have these icons representing my bookmarks, which actually gives me a lot more space for bookmarks. I don't know if that would kind of defeat the purpose of a bookmarks bar if you have like a ton of a, a ton of these. But, you know, you have the option there. You don't really have to look at the annoying text and stuff. So you can just go ahead and click YouTube and you're off and running. All right, the next thing I want to show you is actually very simple. Uh, you should know this if you own Chrome, of the Google Chrome web browser. Let's go ahead and open up a new tab, and it is the Google Chrome applications that you can actually download and install. 
And the reason why I like this is because you just open up a new tab and here they are ready for you to view. If you don't see this page, you'll probably see the most visited page. Just go down here to the bottom and click apps. Now these can actually make your web experience a lot better, make your work your workflow a lot more efficient. So I highly recommend you go through the Chrome web store and check them out. Me personally, I have Evernote, which I use for school, Google Docs in case for whatever reason I need a uh, word processing uh, thing going on there at school or whatever. I have TweetDeck, a webcam toy just for fun, Angry Birds for fun, uh, Chrome Web Store. Let's go ahead and check it out here. You have a bunch of stuff and some of it is even really cool such as the Google OnePlus uh, button, plus one button, OnePlus button, which actually adds right up here and I can just go ahead and click plus one and if I'm logged in it'll just say alright any comments about this and it'll post it to my Google Plus page it's really cool you, you can find a lot of cool stuff in this Chrome web store so again that's my final tip to look through this because it can really save you a bunch of time alright so in the end there were a lot of things that you may be able to do in other web browsers but me personally I had to show you in Chrome because that's what I use and you may be using that as well and I don't know if I have any inexperienced users on here or if you're kinda hesitant to switch from Internet Explorer or Firefox to Chrome or anything uh, I highly recommend you at least try it out Chrome is my favorite web browser right now it's just clean simple it just gets to the point uh, no clutter you know so anyways there you go if you guys have any other tips to share with the commenters below who knows maybe I don't know the tips that you have to share too uh, comment below because I'm really interested in finding out what you guys have to share so again thank you for watching please thumbs up comment and subscribe